Hello, I'm Dr. Yu. Today I'm here to discuss about organic psychiatry, especially focusing on neuropsychiatry. If we see the neuropsychiatric disorder, this include dementia, amnesia, delirium, and ICD-10, it also include a group of personality and behavioral disorder, which is caused by brain damage. And the disorder, according to the ICD-10, they are classified into organic, including symptomatic mental disorder. And DSM-5, these disorders are classified in neurocognitive disorder, which include major neurocognitive disorder, which is dementia, minor neurocognitive disorder, which include the amnestic syndrome, delirium. If we see the disorder of uh, organic psychiatry according to the ICD-10, it includes four group of disorder as we mentioned it, dementia, amnesia, delirium, other organic disorder which include organic hallucinosis, organic catatonia, organic delusional disorder, organic mood disorder, dissociative and mild cognitive disorder, and a category of personality and behavioral disorder due to brain disease. There's one major difference between the classification according to the ICD-10 and DSM-5 in neuropsychiatric disorder. The ICD-10 include the disorder which are caused by brain damage, brain dysfunction, or any other physical disease which impair the functioning of the brain. But it does not include the dementia, delirium, or other organic condition which are caused by psychoactive substances. In ICD-10, the dementia or delirium which are caused by psychoactive substance are classified as mental and behavioral disorder due to substance use. But in DSM-5, these are included in the neurocognitive disorder. After knowing the classification of neuropsychiatry, it's important to our approach practically to this patient. If they are suspicious of some organic origin, especially uh, related to neuropsychiatry, then we have to ascertain whether the patient has an intact consciousness or an impaired consciousness. If the patient is not oriented to time, place, person, this could be a clue to diagnosis of delirium. If the patient has intact consciousness, that means the patient has orientation to time, place, person, then we have to look for the memory impairment. If the patient is uh, oriented but uh, has memory issue, then we make sure that the memory issue is exclusive memory deficit that include the cases of amnesia, or is this a global impairment of memory with other deficit and the antelate that include the cases of dementia. And sometimes the patient with the depression also present with the memory deficit, which is called pseudo dementia. And that cases, we have to check for other related symptoms of the depression. And we have to check for the temporality that the illness started with depression and thereafter progress to some memory deficit. Another important differential and neuropsychiatry related to dementia is uh, a stress-induced amnesia, which is also known as dissociative amnesia. These cases are usually acute in onset, which is started after a traumatic event. So this is also a differential to the memory or dementia related condition. And uh, the other identifying feature is that this is usually temporary or acute in onset. I hope this basic understanding of neuropsychiatry was useful. If there's any questions, kindly feel free to write in the chat box. Thank you for listening.